February 27, St. Gabriel Passante. Francesco Passante was born in Assisi on March 1, 1838, the eleventh child of Sante Passante and Agnes. Francis Passante's childhood, like that of Therese Martin's, was perfectly normal. It is not recorded that he had visions at the age of four or that he had devised extraordinary forms of self-torture before he was eight. On the contrary, he seems by nature to have possessed a warm temper which was not always under perfect control, and to have been fastidious about his dress and personal appearance. As a youth, he read novels, he was fond of gaiety, and of the theater though seemingly the plays he frequented were innocent enough, and on account of his cheerfulness and good looks, he was a universal favorite. As we shall see, this cheerfulness was hard won. The first year of his life was spent away from his family with a nursing woman who cared for him because his mother was so sickly. In 1841, his father moved the family to Spoleto, where he was appointed magistrate. In the same year, the youngest Passanti child died at just six months old. Francis's nine-year-old sister, Adele, soon followed. Just days later, his heartbroken mother, too, was called to eternal life. Francis had lost his mother at just four years old. Tragedy continued to plague the family during his youth. In 1846, Francis's brother Paul was killed in the Italian War with Austria. Another brother, Lawrence, later took his own life. Such events, however, did not rob Francis of his spirit and cheerfulness. During his formative years, Francis attended the school of the Christian Brothers and then a Jesuit college. He was lively, intelligent, and popular at school. At 16, he suffered a life-threatening illness. Praying for a cure, Francis promised to become a religious. With recovery, however, he quickly forgot his promise. But God's will would not be denied. Francis soon turned his heart to the congregation of the Passionists. Sante Passante was less than pleased with his teenage son's decision. Determined to show Francis the joys of secular life, of theater and society parties, Sante continued to hope Francis would find pleasure in social life. But the young man was not to be dissuaded. Immediately after completion of his schooling, he left for the passionate novate. In the novate, he cultivated a great love for Christ crucified. Francis received the passionate habit on September 21st, 1856, which that year was the Feast of the Sorrowful Mother. He was given the name Gabriel of the Sorrowful Mother. A year later, he took his vow. His monastic life preparing him for the priesthood made Gabriel a secluded, non-public figure. His writings reflect his close relationship with God and his mother. These were tumultuous years in Italy. The government was issuing decrees, closing religious orders, and there were marauders that would harass communities. And around this, a legend has formed. It is said that a gang of marauders entered the town of Isola del Gran Sasso in Italy in the year 1860. The marauders grabbed a woman and they were going to rape her. But after freeing the young woman from the would-be rapist, St. Gabriel Passante confronted the onrushing brigands, waving revolvers. At that moment, Passante fired at a lizard that happened to be running across the road and dispatched it with one clean shot. Thus, having demonstrated his excellent handgun marksmanship, he was able to take command of the situation and run the now-frightened brigands out of town. St. Gabriel Passante performed this feat of courage without causing physical harm to a single human being. Beyond this legend, St. Gabriel Passante led an exemplary life as a religious. Filled with penances and self-effacement, he was stricken with tuberculosis before he could be ordained and died in Isola del Gran Sasso in Abruzzi on February 27, 1862. He was not yet 24, yet he attained such remarkable sanctity in that short time. He was a passionate that he was canonized a saint by the church in 1920. Only five years later, weekly devotions in his honor were begun at St. Michael's Church, Union City, New Jersey. For over 55 years, thousands of favors, some of the most extraordinary in nature, have been granted and are attributed to the, his powerful intercession with Christ crucified and the sorrowful mother of Mary. As the patron of youth, his intercession for young people has a very special power with God.